Harris, hello again. Well, hello, Bill, and good to see you, Mr. Vice President. Uh, I just you, have kind of an opening question, and then absolutely, and then I'll get to another viewer question because the, the power of the people, their voice is so important today. I, I want to follow up, though, on this ventilator hospital surge type of support sure. for particularly the three hardest hit states, Washington, California, and New York. And hearing from Governor Cuomo, as we have, and he is want to update the nation every day, um, about the talk. As you say, the administration's not saying no. He's saying that the administration is saying no about that stockpile of ventilators. Those are needed, as you said, Mr. Vice President, when this thing kicks in and it attacks your lungs and it becomes mnemonic. Yeah. It, is, it is powerful stuff, and we need to gear up. So if the spike now is doubling the number of cases in New York every three days, which is what Governor Cuomo said, and mm -hmm. we're almost at what we thought would be an apex, and we're not there yet, he calls it a bad combination of how many cases and people who are actually getting sick and how woefully uh, ill-prepared we are in the numbers of ventilators. Why not just release that stockpile now? Well, what I can tell you and, and, your, and your viewers, uh, uh, Harris, is that uh, we're doing just that. Uh, we're in the process uh, of, of literally sending the entire national stockpile out. And I want the people of New York to know that uh, we are putting a priority on the state of New York and, of course, on Washington and California, where the outbreak has been the most severe. You know, since the president uh, uh, signed... All right. Uh, we'll continue to detail that, but uh, I, I can promise you in our conversations with, with uh, Governor Cuomo, in our conversation the president and I had with Mayor de Blasio just uh, day before yesterday, uh, we want to assure them that we're going to make those resources available. We're going to identify resources that are in the private marketplace, but we are calling on our governors to identify those uh, respirators in their outpatient clinics that anesthesiologists mm -hmm. and now the FDA have said can be converted. This literally, Harris, would add tens of thousands of respirators to our healthcare facilities. And we renewed that call to our governors and we will continue to share that message even while we increase production. Well, well, and, and, you know, what people may be able to appreciate about what you're saying, Mr. Vice President, is perhaps that could be done expeditiously because they're already in the system. I'm just trying to find out on people's behalf what's faster, releasing the stockpile uh, and putting more. And I don't live in New York. I'm just looking across the river and knowing that the Javits Center, uh, which is across from the ferry and a lot of transportation hubs, right. is being turned into a makeshift hospital. So the visuals on this thing are eye-popping. What's faster, going through the system as you're describing or the stockpile? Just real quick answer on that and I'm going to get to a viewer. Harris, we think uh, the president says it's an all of the above strategy. We want to use the national stockpile. We want to identify resources that are already in the marketplace, including what the FDA has now approved to be converted to be used as respirators. But we are spinning up industry every single day. And the president's made it clear He's fully prepared to use the Defense Production Act. The executive order he signed against, against hoarding and price gouging yesterday was based on the Defense Production Act. But at this point, I, I can tell you, uh, American industry is stepping forward as never before. And, and we're going to meet this challenge as Americans together. All right. Uh, real quickly, can we go to that viewer question?